With the unemployment rate still stuck at 9.1 percent, you might think that any employer who is actually hiring would have no trouble finding recruits. Not so. Cynthia Bowers reports on the skills gap that is leaving so many good jobs unfilled. Is this your desktop printer on steroids? Okay. Last year, Paul Rauscher's company, EMT International, a maker of high-tech digital printing presses, hired more than 100 people. What do you say to people who say the manufacturing sector is dead in America? They don't know what they're talking about. But as his Green Bay business continues to expand, he's finding it harder and harder to fill the jobs. So in order for us to grow, we have to have a steady influx of, of qualified people, and there's a very small candidate pool out there. Even with Wisconsin's unemployment nearing 8 percent, manufacturers say they're having a tough time attracting the right kind of worker. The few applicants they get often lack the basic math and reasoning skills required to do the job. A large number of candidates that can't give you one half of one half. Or, so if I send somebody out on the floor and say, you know, cut that thing in half, they can't quite figure out how to get there. An industry survey found that nationwide more than half of manufacturers reported a shortage of skilled production workers. We received job postings for nearly 600 of these type of positions last year. And while we graduated 80, it's still a huge gap. Mark Weber, dean of the trades and engineering program at nearby Northeastern Wisconsin Tech, partnered with local businesses to build a high-tech classroom on wheels to demonstrate to the next generation that today's shop floor is not all grease and noise. It's a, a bright, clean atmosphere. They're surrounded by computers. They've been very excited when they've looked at this. Without a renewed commitment to this type of skilled job training, Paul Rauscher believes the whole country stands to lose. If we lose our manufacturing base and let it go away, either because we can't compete, which I think manufacturers have learned how to do that now, or we can't find the talent we need to keep, keep our businesses moving forward, we're in big trouble. A stern warning for an economy already on the ropes. Cynthia Bowers, CBS News, Green Bay, Wisconsin.